Hello students. Welcome to the subject of complex variable and partial differential equations. Myself Ankit Acharya and today in today's lecture we will discuss about our very important chapter complex integration. So in this chapter majorly we will discuss about main two topics. First topic is a line integral and second topic is for Cauchy integral formula. So in this chapter you have to see for this two topics first topic is line integral. So examples of line integrals at least one example asked in every time GTU question paper and second topic is Cauchy integral formula. From that topic also at least one example asked every time in GTU question paper. So let's see how we can solve and how we can solve this type of example. So for this chapter, first of all, you have to understand some basic concept, very important and very basic concepts, right? You can see our first basic concept is equation of line joining the two points x1, y1 and x2, y2, okay? So equation of line joining two points x1, y1 and x2, y2, how we can find equation of line joining two points x1, y1 and x2, y2 that is nothing but you have to find the value of determinant x, y1, first row is x, y1, second row is x1, y1, 1, third row is x2, y2, 1 that is equal to 0 and solve this determinant, right, solve this determinant you can easily find out the equation of line joining two points x1, y1 and x2, y2. Now next is you have to remember that equation of circle, general form of equation of circle in complex number is mod z minus a that is equal to r, where a is a center and r is a radius, okay, a is a center and r is a radius, okay. So, mod z plus 1 minus 2y, as for example, you can see that mod z plus 1 minus 2y that is equal to 3. So minus 1 plus 2y, okay. So what is your center? Minus 1 plus 2y is the center with radius 3, okay. Now next example, mod z minus 2 plus 3i, that is equal to 2. So what is your center? Center is nothing but 2 minus 3 and 2 is a radius, okay. So this is the basic concept which you have to remember, right. Now some very important concept that you have to remember that we know that suppose this is your y axis, right, this is your x axis, okay. So, for that, the equation of line, suppose this is your x axis and this is your y axis. So, the equation of line of x axis, that is, that is nothing but y is equal to 0, right, and the equation of y, equation of y axis is nothing but x is equal to 0, right. So, all Vertical line, vertical lines are in the form of x. So suppose this is x is equal to 1, this is x is equal to 2, right? Uh, x is equal to 3 and so on. Left hand side I can write x is equal to minus 1, okay? x is equal to minus 2 and so on. And all horizontal line, so this is y is equal to 1, okay? This is y is equal to 1. I can say this is y is equal to 2, okay? And here y is equal to minus 1 and so on, clear? Okay, so also you have to remember the equation of x axis, y axis, also you have to remember about equation of vertical lines, equation of horizontal lines, okay. So this is something basic concept, okay. So let's see. Now next, this is our main important formula for complex integration, integration f of z dz, that is equal to what? f of z is what? f of z is nothing but u plus iv, so we are taking u plus iv, dz is what? dx plus i dy, okay. So when we multiply, first of all, what is real part? Real part is nothing but u into dx plus i v into i dy, okay. So we know that i square, i square is minus 1, so that's why real part is u dx minus v dy plus i, okay, plus i integration u dy. What is imaginary part? Imaginary part is nothing but u dy here, u into dy i is a common term plus i into v dx okay so that's why this is your imaginary part so this is important formula which you have to remember integration f of z dz that is equal to 
इंटीग्रेशन u dx minus v dy plus i integration u dy plus v dx where this c this c is nothing but a contour c is called contour okay c is nothing but contour don't forget okay and in as a contour in your case most probably we have either line triangle square rectangle or circle in your syllabus okay so see in this chapter as a contour most probably most probably right we have line triangle square rectangle and circle so integration f of z dz that is equal to suppose your contour divided into two parts c1 and c2 okay suppose your contour divided into two parts c1 and c2 so how we can find the final integration integration f of z over the contour c that is nothing equal to integration f of z over the contour c1 plus integration f of z over the contour c2 dz okay so in this chapter as a contour most probably we have line triangle square rectangle and circle so let's solve our first example evaluate real part of z dz where c is the shortest path from 1 plus i to 3 plus 2y okay so first we find the equation of line joining the points because here you can see that shortest path and shortest path from any two points is nothing but a line so that's why the line joining the two points the line joining the two points joining the two points 1 1 and 3 2 One one and three two is determinant. What is my determinant? X Y one 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 and three two one. Okay, that is equal to zero. So that's why. What is the determinant? The value of determinant is nothing but X into one minus two. Okay, minus Y into minus Y into one minus three. Right. One minus three plus one into a two minus three that is equal to zero. So you can see that this is nothing but minus x minus minus plus so plus two y. Okay, minus one that is equal to zero. So finally we get y is equal to x plus one divided by two. Okay, the y is nothing but x plus one divided by Now I want to find the value of integration, so that's why. What is my final equation? Uh, we know that uh, f of z, f of z is what here? The real part of z and real part of z is what x. So whatever the f of z we compare with u plus i v, okay? With u plus i v, so u is equal to x and uh, v is equal to zero. Clear? U is equal to x and v is equal to zero. Now what is my Original equation, integration f of z dz that is equal to we know that what is our main formula u dx minus v dy plus i integration u dy plus v dx. Okay, clear now because of u is equal to x and v is equal to zero, so this is equal to integration f of z dz that is equal to x dx okay integration x dx plus i integration x dy okay so this is my main formula integration f of z dz that is equal to integration x dx plus i integration x dy now what is value of y don't forget what is my value of y y is nothing but x plus 1 divided by 2 okay so y is equal to x plus 1 divided by 2 So what is my dy? Dy is nothing but I can write dx by two, okay, and put this two value in this equation number one. So your whole equation converted into x and dx only because when you take y is equal to x plus one by two and dy is equal to dx by two, so your equation converted into x. So definitely you have to take limit of x. 
Limit of x means what? First coordinate. Okay. Don't forget x is our first coordinate. Y is our second coordinate. So first coordinate is one, and here three. So limit of integration is integration from one to three. Okay. So that's why. See integration f of z dz. Integration f of z dz. That means integration of real part of z dz. That is equal to. I can write. See. Try to understand. I can write in, in instead of x we have x dx here also x. Just instead of dy I have to put dx by two. And limit is from one to three. Okay. So that's why this equal to integration from one to three. Right. X dx plus i integration from one to three. Here we have c. Here we have right x. And dy. So instead of dy, I have to take dx by two. So that's why dx by two and x. Okay. So this equal to x square by two integration from one to three plus i by two again x square by two integration from one to three. And you can see that this is nine by two minus one by two. Plus i by two. Here also we have nine by two minus one by two. So that's why the final answer is four plus two i. Okay, easily you can understand nine minus one that is eight. Eight by two four. Here also nine minus one eight. Eight by two four. But here one by two is already there. So that's why four by two is nothing but two i. So final answer is four plus two i. Okay. So in today's lecture we just discuss about how we can solve. The example of line integral using important formula integration u dx plus i dy, right? Uh, integration f of z dz that is equal to integration u dx plus v dy plus i integration u dy minus v dx. That formula is very important. All the students have to remember this formula, okay? And also you have to remember how you can find out the equation of line joining two points x1 y1 and x2 y2. Equation of circle. so some of the basic concept that you have to remember okay so thank you